Another day, bro. Another day, another dollar, bro. Y'all know what that means. It's another day to go out of work. I checked and even deposit shit, so I can't. I didn't even get paid technically. I'll explain that later. But we gotta get ready to go back to this shitty ass job today. So let me prepare myself. I might brush my teeth to start this vlog. I brush my teeth off camera, but who knows? Fuck that shit. I'm gonna do it off camera. I'm gonna be back in the next clip. So this is just me brushing my teeth. As y'all can see, bro, I'm brushing my teeth really good, bro. When I brush my teeth, I go ham. I don't play. I get real deep inside my teeth. You know what I'm saying? I brush my tongue, too. A lot of y'all probably don't brush your tongue, but I got to prepare myself to go to work today. And I refuse to go to work, and I don't brush my teeth. That is disgusting, okay? But now nah, this is just me preparing myself to go outside to my car. As y'all see, I'm nodding my head. Um... It's a lot that happens in this episode of this terrible my day at work. Like, it was a terrible day today. I'm going to get more into depth to it, but there goes my baby, the money mobile. You know, one day I told y'all I want a Lamborghini one day. So we're going to see how this goes, but we finna go inside the money mobile. Go inside my baby. Oh, look at that nigga. That nigga looks sexy as shit. Now, that's just me looking around, you know, making sure the road's safe. And I'm just about to head to work. Now, I'm going to flip the camera angle just in a little bit, but, you know, it's just me driving to work, preparing myself for another shitty day. You know, I'm so tired of this shit. I'm just riding my car inside my car, heading my, heading my way all the way to work. I'm just preparing myself to go, you know, trying to have a good mindset because, you know, I hate that fucking job. But this is the angle, you know what I'm saying, me driving. So this is how it looks like. The road's looking like it's looking real nice. It's looking real beautiful. But today at work, I just want to let you guys know it's called Crash Out Monday. Remember, I'm telling you guys it's called Crash Out Monday for a reason. OK, it was a lot that happened while I was at work. I'm going to explain more of it later on in the vlog. But I hope you guys are enjoying these cars right here. You know, they looking sexy. That's a little Honda right there. I want to get that shit. But I know I want a Lambo. So. I'm just showing that car just to motivate you to get a car or something. Who knows, my nigga? You know what I'm saying? All right. Now, this is just me heading right back. I'm at the Martyr Station now. I got to ride that stupid-ass train to my job. So, I'm feeling the sun. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling like a god. You know what I'm saying? I'm still a little bit pissed off, as y'all can see. I, I keep nodding my head. I keep making these facial expressions. And I'm just like, damn, bro. It's another fucking day. At this shitty ass job. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm like getting so exhausted of going. You know what I mean? Um, This is a lady I seen. Now this is just me showing my new book back off. You know my brother gave me this new book back. It's pretty clean bro. I got like 10 zippers. I don't know who the fuck plate cleaner is back there. I, I hope y'all seen that. That nigga just photobombed my video. You know, I don't know who the fuck that nigga was, but it got hella zippers and shit. I'm just showing y'all the zippers off. It got like eight zippers and different things like that. And why is the plate cleaner back in my game? Get your ass out. All right. Now, this is the, the train. Now, I'm going to tell you guys something. Something crazy happened. Like three crazy, two crazy things happened today. So now this is the train. This is me about to get on the train and head to work. You know, I'm waiting the train to stop so I can enter inside the train. You feel me? So it's coming now. It just came to a full, complete stop. And I'm going to go inside and enter the train. You know what I mean? Now I get inside the train and they got blue seats. You know, I'm enjoying the seats of the train. I like when the train got blue seats because that means it's going to be a good day. Anytime the train got blue seats, it means I take that back. It means work will still be shitty. Nothing changes, my nigga. That just me looking stressed out because I'm already stressed. I didn't even go to work yet. I'm already looking tired, bro. I'm licking my tongue because I'm like, bro, I'm about to flip fucking fries. I'm going to make fucking chicken sandwiches and shit. But you know what? I was like, you know what? I'm going to show the outside of the train. This is how it looks through the train window. I never really showed y'all how it looks like because usually um, I showed y'all like my face. But this is how it looks through the train window when I go to work. All these cars show, you know, it looks kind of nice. I ain't gonna lie. It looks kind of beautiful. You feel me? And all these cars right there driving past and 
it got a real nice angle to it. I'm not going to lie. It's like, it looks real beautiful out here. This is how all the cars here. It's a lot of cars at my job. Because I already told you, I work at the airport. So, it just be a whole bunch of cars. That's the trains, right? That's a train, bus, plane, train, a bus, train. All the, These are all the cars. So, that's all the people that come to the airport every single day. That's a lot of fucking people. So, imagine all them people coming to, to fucking Chick-fil-A and shit. Stressing me out, you know? That's a lot of people, ain't it, bro? It's a lot of cars. I work at the biggest airport in the world. I forgot to tell you guys that. That's another thing. You feel me? All right, now this is the sign, and this is just how the train kind of bus looks like. The train looks like on the outside to my job. And now these are the bags, you feel me? These are like um, airport bags, so people put those so they can get their packages. This is the escalator. Now, I got to tell you guys something. I'm walking up the escalator, right, because... I actually forgot my badge to go to work. So I was actually 30 minutes late to go to work today. So I'm just walking my ass all the way back to that fucking train again. So I had to ride the train all over again. Now I have my head down like this, right? Because I see my old manager from my old job. Y'all know I quit my job before to do YouTube and shit. And I did not want her to see me back at the airport. So I'm hiding, you know, on the plane train. I'm hiding my face. So she don't see me and shit. Because I seen her on the train. And I didn't want her to see me. I didn't want her to wave at me. I didn't want her to say what's good. I'm hiding on the plane train under the seat. You know, this is where I'm at right now. I'm just hiding under the seat. So my old manager does not see me. You feel me? So I'm sitting here. I'm just hiding under the seat, bro. I'm hiding. Now, in the next clip, right? I'm running back to my car, bro. Because I told you I was late for work. So I have to run all the way back to my car to get my fucking badge so i can go back to work i know my uh name tag is like floppering my bad if y'all see that shit and i look ugly as shit right here what was i doing bro i was tripping bro now this is me after i got my badge y'all can kind of see i'm sweaty a little bit i got a little sweat drops on my face because you know what i'm saying i had to run my ass all the way back to my car but it was cool though i was able to get my badge we was 30 minutes late but Hey, I still managed to get the bag, though, and I'm still going to be good and heading my ass to work, okay? Now, y'all know the, the usual. We wait for the goddamn train again, and I have to ride all the way back to the job again, bro. I have to do that same ride all over again. So it was like the same shit happened. So I had to wait again to ride. So I had my head down like this because I was already tired, bro. I was like, bro, I just ran all the way here. And now I'm going to be making food for seven to eight hours. I'm just not ready to do this shit tonight, bro. I wasn't prepared. I was just so not ready, bro. I was just ready to go home. That's all I was thinking in my head. I was like, damn, it's about to be a whole nother day of hell. Now, this is just the security, bro. Y'all know the usual, bro. We done seen this shit about 10, 20 times. You know what? I'm just going to tell you guys what happened at work today while we go through security. So work, it was the same, bro. Y'all know the same shit happens, bro. You know, I go up the escalator, go down the escalator, different things. And this is me heading to work right now. But I'm going to tell you guys everything that happened at work. So basically... As y'all seen from the last few clips, I was late as hell because I forgot my badge and I had to run all the way back to my car. So I get my badge, right? I walk all the way back to my car exactly, right? Then once I get to work, I start cooking the fucking toast. I put bread on butter and I cook it for fucking eight hours, right? And I'm going to show you guys all the machines we use at my job once, once I get there. So now... Once I get inside the job, I cook the bread and butter for eight hours. Then after that, I learned how to make fucking sandwiches, like the Chick-fil-A sandwiches. I learned that how to package it and then give it away to people. And then it was a lot of crash out shit happening at work today. Like hella people were getting mad. Like it was just so random, bro. Like, so I don't want to say no names, you know what I'm saying? Because they may find my channel one day, but fuck it. You know, I really don't give a fuck. They never, I'll never tell nobody my YouTube channel. So this girl named Destiny, right? Um, she kind of like, I don't know what she, what's her pronouns, but she kind of look like a man a little bit. You know what I'm saying? She's kind of masculine a little bit. She kind of gave me nigga vibes. But she was real mad today. Like she was angry a lot at a lot of different things. It was like a lot of people were pissing her off. 
So she was crashing out. She was like cussing people out. And she was from the fight about two people. So it was his first dude, right? It's this one nigga, right? He's old as shit. So I go to work today, right when I enter work. This nigga gonna ask me, right? The nigga who she got mad at. The nigga asked me, right when I enter work, how come you don't talk to people, right? Chat. So I'm like, you know what? I don't usually like talk to nobody like that because simply because I just come there to go get my money and go home. I don't go to work just to make friends. I don't go to work to associate. I go to work to get money and go home. I don't y'all know already. I don't even like to be at that job in the first place. But y'all already know I got banned on YouTube. I got disqualified. But to continue on on a Monday crash out. So that's me and that one, dude. They start arguing. You feel me? She first start arguing with that nigga. Then, you know, after them two start arguing, everybody starts to go on break today. Everybody. So I start doing like three to four different things at work today. So I'm a little bit pissed off. This is me eating my chicken sandwich because I had to. This is before all the crash out shit happened. I ate a good chicken sandwich and the sun was hitting my face. So I was feeling sexy a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I was feeling good about myself, but the crash out shit threw me off. So then the, right after I ate this chicken sandwich, that's when the crash out shit happened. Her, Destiny, and the one dude got into an argument. And everybody went on break. So then when I go back inside the job, right, I start doing three different things. I cook some fucking fries. I make the goddamn um, toast. I start doing a whole bunch of different shit. Like more work started coming on me because everybody went on break after them two started arguing. So then later on in the night, right, chat, um, she gets into it with another girl, right? She kind of a plate cleaner a little bit. She big as shit, but I don't know her name. I don't know the other girl she got into an argument with. So she had, she like wear glasses and shit. And by the way, this is the toast machine I'm talking about. They keep making me use. And these is the fries machines they had me use. This shit pissed me the fuck off. And I met this one dude also. But let me continue the story. You know, he was cool as shit. Me and this nigga did head nod. And we was talking about a lot of deep shit. You know, he was a cool ass nigga. But let me continue the story like I was saying. So, like I was there and the Destiny and the other girl, she got into it with a whole other co-worker at the job, right? So, them two start arguing. And then everybody start going to the front to see why they was arguing. This is during closing time. So, everybody after everybody returns back from break. She gets into it with another co-worker. And then after that, I'm starting to think in my head, I'm like, what the fuck's going on with this job? Everybody's all angry. Everybody's all mad. And I already hate being here. I don't even like being at this, this shitty ass job because, bro, they have me do the same shit every day. I'm just exhausted, bro. I just want to just go home. That's it, bro. I just want to make YouTube videos. That's it. I don't come here to make friends. I don't come here to do none of that shit. So I'm just here just to go home. So today what happened at work, all my coworkers just kept crashing out. And y'all could see from my face, I look tired as shit. And also, by the way, y'all, I found these are all the people that were waiting on the train. I want to show you how much fucking people be at this goddamn airport. It's big as shit. It's hella folks. But this is pretty much like when I was heading back home right here. I was finally back on the train chilling bro i was like feeling good about myself but i'm coming to a realization each day i go to this job i start to hate it more and more every second bro i don't know what it is bro i don't know what what it is i don't know if i'm gonna start enjoying the job because when everybody started crashing out today it made me mad it just made me feel exhausted it made me feel like bro what can i do bro like i'm only coming here to get money and all my co-workers just keep getting mad at each other bro i just wanted them all to be friends today bro that was it so i'm just on this plane just re reflecting on work but i can tell you guys one thing i got a work crush y'all she look good as shit she was bad as shit she got big titties bro i don't know what it is but her face card is kind of straight you know i don't want to leak her name or nothing. she may find my channel and shit but my baby if you watching this you need to give me your instagram I hope you know that shit. You know, I'm debating if I want to get her Instagram chat. But she was the only person keeping my mind off of work. Every time I seen her, I was thinking about nasty things. I'm sorry. I'm going to be honest with y'all, chat. 
when I see a bad bitch, I start thinking nasty. You know, this is me just driving home, bro. And I'm just reflecting on that long work day. All them crash outs that happened today. I'm just driving home, listening to my Drake, you know, about to turn right here. As y'all can see, watch this clean ass turn. Wee bitch. I'm a, I'm a good ass driver, nigga. But yeah, this is just me driving back home. I'm just thinking about all that crash out. But that really had me really thinking in my head, like, bro, what is up with fast food? How can they make it a better environment? People need, I understand why people are so angry now at these fast food jobs. You're around grease all day. You're around oil. So when I, when I seen Destiny just crash out on all them people today, I wasn't even mad at her, bro. I understood why she was mad because you... You making chicken sandwiches, french fries, fucking toast. Y'all seen that dirty ass toast machine I showed y'all that blue shit? I hate I hate that toast machine, you know? But I understand why she was probably mad and crashing on all them people. They was probably she was probably getting pissed off because she's tired of that shitty ass job, you know? Even though that kind of did bother me because after she crashed out the first time, everybody went on break. And then after, when she came back from break, she crashed out again. But you know what? I'm not even mad at her. I hope she she's doing good. And one more thing to add on. I don't talk at work, y'all. I'm quiet as shit. The, really, the only time I really talk is when I'm on YouTube. Because I don't know what it is. I'm very, like, antisocial now. Because I don't know what to talk about with people. I don't know what type of combos to have with people anymore. Because I look at life as me just focused on me. You know, but maybe one day, bro, I'll just start interacting with more people at my job. But I just don't. I know another reason why I won't talk to people at the job is because I know I ain't going to be there long. But one thing I might do, bro, I might have to put my work crushes Instagram before I leave, bro, because I want to do a video with her so bad. Is she bad as shit? Chat. What do y'all think, bro? Should I try, bro? If y'all think I should try, you got this far into the video. Should I try to get my word crushes Instagram? What do you think? This is just more point of views of me driving home, bro. You know, I had to get point of point of views of me driving home like this because it gives me GTA vibes when I do this. But what do y'all think? Cause I, I got a big crush. She bad as shit. But when I was at work, she was talking about some nigga. I don't know. Uh -oh, that's pretty much the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoy it. Enjoyed it. I know it was a lot that happened, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, um, like I said, bro, we get on band this Sunday. We have currently it's 12 a.m. We have five days left. Five days left, and I get on band. So, um, I got another work vlog for you guys tomorrow. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm gonna drop it right now. And yeah, I know it's 12 a.m. at this moment. Just comment down below if you enjoyed it. All right, let me get in. See y'all next word vlog.